morning, everyone, and welcome to the National Jazz Museum in Harlem. I am Tracy Heider Suffern, and I have the pleasure, the absolute pleasure, of serving as the executive director here. I'm going to do two things that I don't normally do by way of introduction. One is I'm going to read my introduction. Usually I, I, I wing it. Um, two, and I'll tell you why I'm going to read it in a second. Two is, um, it's a little bit long, not very, um, about a page and a half, but uh, longer than usual. I'm, the, I'm the, the, the queen of the 30, 10 second introduction. But um, this, is, this is so important to me for so many reasons. Uh, one is that we have the absolute pleasure of being in the presence of Melda Santa and the group of amazing musicians who she has assembled. Two is because we're celebrating the 105th anniversary of Mambo Santa Maria. Three is I get to practice my fake Spanish accent as <coughs> I introduce everybody. <laughs> so don't laugh at me when I, when I don't sound like I speak Spanish at all. So we are here to create. I believe that we're here for three reasons. To create, to commune, and to witness. I truly believe that those are our purposes on Earth. As I get older, I understand more and more why older people tell the same story over and over and over again. It isn't because we forgot we told you. It's because we like telling the story. We like the way it feels coming out of our heart, the seat of our soul. We like the way it moves around our palate as we share history we've witnessed. We're connecting with you, the listener, and with moments that taught us significance. In the listening, you become the vessel of our story. I've told my Mango Santa Maria story a million times. I always tell it the same way, but I now realize that each time I tell it, it's a different story. When I was 12 years old, my father decided I was old enough and responsible enough to have an allowance. And so he bestowed upon me $3 a week. I took my very first $3, I grabbed my mother by the hand, and I dragged her to the record store in our neighborhood. And I bought Mango Santa Maria's Watermelon Man. <laughs> Mango was a Cuban percussionist and band leader who spent most of his career in the United States. Ramon Mongo Santa Maria Rodriguez was born in Havana, Cuba on April 7, 1917. He learned rumba as a kid in the streets of Havana's Jesus Maria neighborhood. He said, in the neighborhood where I came from, we had all kinds of music, mostly from Africa. We didn't leave it alone. We changed it. We made it ours. The music we made dealt with religion and conversation. The drum was our tool, and we used it for everything. Mongo was mentored on bongos and congas by Clemente Chicho Piquero, who played with Benny More. Mongo was Tito Puente's conguero. He played with Cal Jada. He was a member of Fania All Stars and often showcased his conga solos with Ray Barreto. He recorded some of the first rumba and santeria music albums. From the 1970s, he recorded mainly salsa and Latin jazz. His rendition of Herbie Hancock's Watermelon Man was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1998. Today, he would have been 105 years old. And today, we celebrate him. Happy birthday, Mongo. I asked Melvis how she would like me to introduce her. And she told me, do it from the heart. So I went to the internet. <laughs> Singer, 
composer, pianist, Afro-Cuban dancer, Afro-Cuban voice therapy instructor, actress, and educator, Melvis Sanza, was born and raised in the heart of an eclectic neighborhood in Havana and was exposed to multicultural traditions early on. Melvis has graced this area of the National Jazz Museum in Harlem many times, and we're so happy to have <laughs> her and her friends here today. Welcome, Melvis and her friends.
Good evening, welcome. Uh, I wanted to start this celebration, this uh, important night for me, uh, with an oro seco, a fragment of an oro seco. That's the first thing that uh, in, a, in a ceremonial context uh, we do to uh, salute the orishas, in this case, the instrument that I'm playing is the baba, for those that doesn't know, it is a family of three drums that represent the family, mother, father, and the son. And the finding that balance and working around that balance is what made the beautiful tones, which ultimately is the, the, the goal in life, right? To, to connect and starting from the family and building up to there. So Oro Seco is where you, in your solitude, um, play for the Orishas, asking for permissions, and of course, acknowledging the presence of higher energies uh, in, in our lives, and to find that balance. So of course, it's the best way to initiate this wonderful night, where we celebrate uh, uh, the great Mongo Santa Maria, which I had the, the pleasure to meet um, through, through friends that uh, introduced me to the music, although I'm from Havana, of course, I, I didn't have the opportunity to um, uh, learn about his career there. So being in New York is really a great opportunity for me to come and meet the people that work with Mongo and connect that with that other side the, the, in the life of Cubans and I guess for the immigrants that left their country and uh, start a new life uh, uh, in, another, in another place. So. New York is, is, is the, the heart for, for, for arts, and specifically Afro-Cuban arts have deep roots that I want to keep exploring. And Mongo definitely is one of, of the greatest uh, figures that, uh, that, I, that I feel inspired uh, from. So let me welcome another uh, great percussionist that continuing the legacy of Mongo, also from Havana también. Uh, Maestro Rafael Monteagudo. <laughs> and the, the beauty of uh, connecting and um, the, the expansion and, and the extension of, of the music is that it's a universal language. So at some point you realize there is no boundaries. We just come from different places, but we share a common ground. And th there is this other person that I want to invite that I, I name him uh, El Vikingo de la Rumba. So imagine a Vikingo playing rumba, that's him, Dylan Blanchard. So we're going to do a couple of tunes uh, honoring one of the records uh, of Mongo. So, so prolific it was Mongo and recorded so many um, uh, albums. But uh, we want to um, bring back that one that is called Cantos a los Orishas. So we're going to do some uh, Orishas singing and, and play. Come 
Elupe Chango, eh, eh. Elupe Amala, eh, eh. Elupe Akuko, eh, eh. I am Wanilo Baoso.
this is not a regular um, concert where you only sit. If you feel the need, because it's a need to stand up and dance, you're welcome. <laughs> okay? Don't hold that energy. Because then we are here like, oh. <laughs> help us, help us. Okay. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite another great friend and wonderful, wonderful musician that I have the pleasure to work here, not in Cuba, but here. The, 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 the scenario was created so we can collaborate from Santa Clara, the great Osmani Paredes. Yep. Now coming from the popular repertoire of, of, Cu of Cuban music, this is a classical uh, that maybe some of you will recognize.
Mani Paredes. Hope Mongo is also having a great time because we are having it. Yeah. And this is one of the songs that I enjoy very much from other album. Um, um, rumba is part of, I don't know, the heart of almost everybody I know. I think secretly there is these ingredients that bring us together, uh, not at first, but then you realize there is a lot of things in common, and music, of course, is one of the things, and rumba specifically <laughs> is something that we all enjoy so much. So let's do this, this song that I actually learned in, uh, from, from one of these albums. It's called Margarito, and it's, a, it's a, a, a dedicated to someone that had a discussion with another person about what is better, a rumba or a bembe? They were like, no, I like rumba. No, I like bembe. No, I like rumba. And it, it, it was that funny situation. And at the end, it's all music, and of course, it's all grew. But this song came out. Let's do it. Cosita buena, 
happen yes and I want to start bringing from the drum EJ Street Lamb yes EJ was one of the musicians that I first played when when I arrived here in New York uh, it was back in 2015 something like that six bar you know with Linda oh yeah EJ was always so nice. We just have this nice connection from the beginning as we, you know, that's natural chemistry. And then I found out he's also a twin. I'm a twin too. So it's that twin energy, I think. I think it's that twin energy. We are like, so thank you so much and welcome. Next one. Um, huh. Rashan Carter. <laughs> demand bass player we really haven't played but we've been hanging around <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be the first time played together but I say it's like family it feels like family just that sound I'm already <coughs> that's all I need yeah. and then my dear friend and beautiful person great musician Colette Michan <laughs> Wish, I'm gonna do a little bit of promo. She's wearing this wonderful um, <laughs> outfit from a friend that now is our friend because she introduced me to her. She's, she's also a great um, artist. Uh, it's Wumi. Oh, wow Wow by Wumi is, is her, her own line. And it was Kole who introduced me to Wumi, so shout out to Wumi. You should see in this great friend. Okay, so all this for Mongo. And of course, you already met Osmani, but Osmani is joining later. Now, to second part, I'm gonna dedicate some of, of the music that I wrote, um, and hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
thank you for your patience. <laughs>
title is Either Stay or Leave by Soul Beats. So Soul Beats. <laughs> <laughs> so is that is that middle ground? Anyway, so bolero. Bolero. And I and I love to do bolero because it's another side of the instrument, the the, the congas. Uh, it's so cliche that you say this is like of course it's fire and it's but it's also it's both sides. And bolero gives the opportunity to to to, to bring them those tones that I like. Okay. So next one. One of Mongo's tunes that I really have fun playing with these guys. Chili beans. Chili beans. Uh, also, I, I want to say um, Valerie Capers. She was here just recently. I couldn't attend, but she's also the composer of this of this tune. A great pianist, Valerie Capers. Uh, if, if she's seeing this, my my respect to her. Okay, Shirley Beans. <laughs>
שילי בין, שילי, שילי. So when I think of, of Mongo, oftentimes I got that a specific energy. I can explain it with other words, just that energy. And in my case, I associate those energies with the um, aura or personification of the Arusha, because it's the tradition that I grew up with. So for me, Mongo always bring that Shango energy. Mm -hmm. uh, red and white would be the colors that I identify. And it was interesting because um, I was invited uh, 2630 in the National Jazz Museum to the premiere of Summer of Soul in the historic park in Harlem right here. Um, I was right there to the premiere and of course, they have to mention in that festival the moment that Mongo Santa Maria um, do the presentation in that historic year, and he played his watermelon man, mm -hmm. uh, and he has it, this outfit of red and white and other colors too, African outfit, but it was like a realization of yes, that it was right, <laughs> <laughs> or at least in my mind, but it was it this, those, those little things that happened. Uh, people that work with energy, what was it uh, called signals or whatever. <laughs> but for me, it meant something. And, and this piece is called Kawo, which is also another way of calling Chango. Wemilere lube o baoyo, ekwekwe mi o baoyo. Chango go waye o ba o yo. We mi le re lu be o ma o yo. E le we mi o ma o yo. Chango go waye o ma o yo. We mi le re lu be o ba o yo. E kwe kwe mi o ba o yo. Chango go waye o ba o yo. Yo sé bien de dónde vengo, yo sé bien a dónde voy. Yo sé bien de dónde vengo, yo sé bien a dónde voy. Y conmigo siempre tengo la bendición de Chango.
it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I hope, I hope, because we, we've been <laughs> celebrating here. Thank you. So please show your love again for these wonderful musicians. Yeah. Wonderful musicians, better human beings, the perfect combo. Rashan Carter on bass. Amen. EJ Streetline on drums. All right. Dylan Blanchard, el vikingo de la rumba. Colette Michan. Rafael Monteagudo. Yeah. I wonder if we have time for two more or just one more? Two more. Two more? Two more? Yeah. Four more? No. Next time, next time, four more. Okay, so let's do, good? Okay. Let's do another composition called Pasacalle. Sí? Vamos a ver. Thank you. 
Ochum, no puede faltar. The goddess of love, Ochum, ya lo que. Thank you, thank you everybody, wonderful. Yeah. Uplifting. So in my idea, I wanted this next uh, song and the last one to open and if there is any musician, I mean, not any, this is famous and great, wonderful, great hands right there. <laughs> did, you bring, did you bring your thing? You didn't bring it? Oh. That's not fair. Anyway, if you feel like you want to play the congas, oh, 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 oh. I mean, let's do it uh, when we open, right? Let's do the, the thing and then, let's do the thing and then, yeah. see? Let's do it. Wanna take over? You wanna take Ah, oh, mira, mira. He doesn't want to sing it. Colette Michan, Dylan Blanchard, Rafael. But don't go here, go here. This is the last two. Don't go. You have to play something. Do you want the claves? Take the claves, take the claves. <laughs> I never give the claves to anyone. I'm giving you the claves.
Thank you so much. Ahora sí. Thank you, thank you. Colen Michan. EJ Strickland. Maestro Ray Hain. City Neen. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. El vikingo de la rumba, Dylan Blanchard. Master, Gray, Rashan Carter. Osmani Paredes, Santa Clara en la casa. En Rafael Monteagudo, bringing it all. My name is Melvis Santa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy, please. Close your words. I'm going to quote Curtis Archer, who said, you never know who's in the room. And then I'm going to quote myself when I said, I love working here. Yeah. This, is, this is so New York, and this is so National Jazz Museum in Harlem. Not just the artistry behind me, but everybody who's in the room. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of what I said a little bit earlier before you all came is my first time in the room since the shutdown. So this is a wonderful welcome home for me, for you. I like to say that if you've never been here before, welcome home. If you have been here before, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, three things, two things before you go. One is what you see around you is our very first ever collaboration with Disney. Disney asked us to keep it here for a, a month. We decided to keep it here through the end of August. Yeah. And that will allow the kids who come out of school who are here on vacation uh, to come and celebrate with us. Uh, John Batiste just won um, his Grammy for, for Freedom. He won the Oscar for his collaboration with this movie. And we're happy to celebrate that with him and with you. The last thing is I'd like Melvis to talk about what she's getting ready to do, to do with our, I'm so excited I can barely talk, um, our collaboration with City College. You want to talk about what that is? Okay. <laughs> Can I just give a teaser? So the te when is the, what are the dates? So May 19th and 20, um, Melvis uh, and the National Jazz Museum in Harlem have been invited by City College, by Aaron Davis Hall to celebrate jazz and the Orishas. So you have to be there. One of the things I like to tell people is if you think you don't like jazz, if you think you don't know jazz, you just don't know it yet. And we try to meet everyone where they are so that they can understand the amazing influence this music and this culture has had on music all over the world. And so we hope that you can join us there and you'll hear much more about it later. Thank you for coming.